This is Live for Love, love Soul TV. TV. Welcome back to Live for Love TV. Today is the 18th day of the first month of the 23rd year inside the 21st century. Hope everyone's doing well out there. Well, the biggest news in the Caribbean right now is Mr. Usain Bolt, the great world record holder, multiple winner of many uh, gold medals in Olympic, world level, uh, Commonwealth level, you name it, he's won it. And um, the biggest news in the Caribbean is that apparently he and other other people have been swindled out of a lot of money now the company in concern with mr usain bolt is called ssl in jamaica that's stocks and securities limited and if you don't understand what these companies are what they are is if you're an investor and you want to invest in stocks and securities and shares and bonds and stuff like that and you don't know what to to um companies to pick you pick a company like SSL and they do it on your behalf. So you basically are investing with them so they can invest on your behalf on the stock market, normally the Jamaican stock market. But some of them go wider, a, a, a wider range and uh, they invest in places like in the USA and maybe some other Caribbean islands as well, so like Trinidad and somebody, especially um, I think Guyana as well is one of these major companies, that, countries that people like to invest in these days. Anyway, Usain Bolt as a... Um, his, his management company, which he has now sacked, has, has come to light that he has lost at least 12 million US dollars from his account, from his securities account with this company. And his uh, lawyers have given SSL 10 days to refund the money in total, or they're going to start their proceedings with suing them and, and taking them to court and, and, all, and such like. So this is a major, major issue. Now, I I, SSL is a company that in 2022 was high on my watch list for investment. I was going to invest with them as well, but for some reason I decided that I'm going to invest in my own companies. I'm not going to go through these companies who actually invest on your behalf. I thought that, I think I know, I've been doing this investment since 2004, investment since 2004, and I've got it wrong quite a lot of times, but I think I know a little bit more now on what companies to invest in. So I don't I'm not uh, so new into the market that I would just give my money over to another co company so they can invest on my behalf. So maybe that's probably the reason why I didn't get caught with the SSL. But nevertheless, these, are, these companies are, are good for people who don't understand the right stocks, the right shares to normally to invest in. These are normally good companies. They, 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 they have all these educated Ivy League, PhDs, masters, people in financials, in economics that are, that are supposed to be working on your behalf. So people do use them and they do and you can make a lot of money with these people but Usain Bolt seems to have been led astray now he has sacked his management uh, uh, management guy who does his management Mr. Pert Perty's name is he sacked him and I don't know what the reason he sacked him for I don't know if he sacked him because he believes that he was in league with the SSL to help swindle him or if he sacked him because he didn't um, he wasn't he was incompetent and didn't see what was going on right under his nose either way he's had to sack him and i'm sure that's one of the two reasons that you would sack him, your management your financial manager is if he's basically incompetent or a criminal so it's one or the other yeah so he sacked uh, as i said he sacked mr peer and he's now so excuse me he's now uh, moving on with his legal thing now the person the, the person who's now come out and admitted that they are behind it is a a lady by the name of Jean and Pat Payton, Patton, Payton. So I'm not I'm not sure how her name is pronounced. Patton, yeah. And Jean and Patton, and she claims that she was taking the money for her father's cancer treatment. I mean, I'm not a judge, but if she came before me with that, she'd need she'd need a lot of cancer treatment by the time I finish with her. Because when people make investments, they make investments for the same reason. They make investments against their their family and their health and their their future and their life so for her to steal someone's money and say she did it on behalf of her father you know it's because i love my father so much i went and robbed that bank that, that, that's that's a, such a weak excuse we all we could all use that excuse and say well you know i couldn't afford the funeral bill so i went and robbed the, the local bank around the corner it's a ridiculous excuse to use i'm sure she's not the only person if this has been apparently this has been going on for many many years before you saying bolt they're probably even invested in this in this company that other people have been getting um, swindled so 
I'm sure she's not the only person, but she's the only name that we have right now that we can talk about legally. So she's admitted liability. She's admitted that she did this. We'll see what happens in the in in the, in the coming months. Now the FSC, which is the, the regulators for all of the companies that um, deal with finances on the stock exchange, they're the ones that are supposed to be able to oversee these things and make sure these things don't happen. But, I mean, the, the, who's watching the watchman? I mean, the old, the old saying is that it's easy to make a law. The real law that you make has to be enforced, and, and enforcement has always been a problem in this part of the world. Enforcement is a problem in all parts of the world, but in this part of the world, uh, enforcement is really, really poor. So the laws are all there. You've got the same amount of laws as any other country, but who's there to enforce them? So this is a this is a, ma a massive issue. And sometimes, when you do go to enforce these laws, the person who you're trying to enforce it on will just give a little bit of money to the enforcer, and it'll just go away. So I'm sure a lot of that was happening over the years, just why this company was able to continue, uh, even even though there was suspicion on them for over 10, 11, 12 years able to continue without being actually caught out. Now, sadly to say, the fact that Usain Bolt has been caught in such a big uh, corruption scandal is actually good news for the rest of us who are small timers. Because now it's, it's, sh it's shone a light onto the whole company. If it was just somebody we'd never heard of, this, it wouldn't be getting blown up in the Caribbean, in Jamaica and around the world the way it's being blown up now. So I'm sorry to say, that Usain Bolt has been caught up in this, but the truth is, it takes big names like this to be caught up in this for the rest of the, uh, you know, the financial institutions to actually start realizing what is going on right under their very nose. Twelve million U.S. dollars. I don't care what um, money Usain Bolt. I don't care if he made two, three, four hundred million U.S. dollars throughout the year. Twelve million U.S. dollars is nothing to be sneezed at. It's a, dis it's really disgusting to see that he's been taken by this and. As people will say, is if you have what people are, are tantamount to a national hero and he's able to be robbed like this, just imagine what's happening on a daily basis to me and you and to people that are, you know, who are, are nobodies around to these people, you know. These are, and as I said, the people that do these things, they're, they're highly educated. They're PhDs, they're masters. This, this is not the ordinary person that gets to hold on to people's money. These people are always very, very highly educated and... Um, and, and you know they they're in the right they go to the right churches they talk to the right pastors they shake hands with the right politicians these are the people that are always able right under people's noses to be doing these type of criminals they may not put on a mask and and, and hold a gun in in their hand but they make a lot more money when they do their their theft so i i think it's um, really bad and people should really come down not just on this lady but on the institutions that allow these things to happen because this this is not a single person doing these things it never is it's always a, a, you know because there's there's always people who can see what's going on and don't want to do anything about it maybe because they're being paid or maybe they're just not interested or they're just not interested in doing their job so it's a it's a sad situation now as far as investment goes in the stock market in Jamaica or anywhere else around the world I'll continue to um, invest and if they can, and, and I've been caught out with other investments over the years in different places and lost a lot of money and it hasn't stopped me from investing. It doesn't, does it? You, you can't um, let something that you think is, is something that you can do well with stop you. It doesn't really matter what it is. It's like saying that, um, you know, the bank got robbed last month and so I'm not going to use the bank anymore because it's dangerous for me going in the bank or a plane crashes, I'm not going to take the plane anymore. It, this is not how we operate. So yes, there are criminals inside these businesses and the, the old saying when it comes to banks, the best ways to rob a bank is to own a bank. That's the best way to rob it. If you're the owner of the bank, you're, you're more likely to be able to rob it than anybody can walk in off the street. So yes, we know the dangers of these things. These things have happened before to many other sports people. There's a footballer who was back in, um, I think it was the 90s, uh, uh, Akocha. Uh, he used to play for Bolton, a Nigerian footballer, a great footballer. He put a million US dollars into a Nigerian bank and the bank collapsed. The bank collapsed because people were doing fraud behind doors and ripped off all his money and ran off with his, ran off with that, with his million dollars. So this is, it's not nothing new that's happened to Usain Bolt or to anybody else, but to these big uh, celebrities. This is something that people do. It's very sad. It really knocks us back a long way when you have people like Okocha who wants to invest in his own country, you know, his own people and then gets ripped off by his own people. The same thing with Usain Bolt. I know you won't hear any, any of this from, from the, the people who keep saying you should buy black. Always buy black, you know, if you're black, buy black. Invest your money with us, invest your money. They, they, they'll keep quiet now. 
on these particular issues because they, they've got nothing to say because they're the ones that like to force people into saying, let's put your money here, but when their money goes missing, they don't say a word because it doesn't fit their narrative. I'll say a word, I'll say buy black, and I'll also say be careful when you buy black. Buy black with intelligence. If you're, gonna, if you're a black person and you're going to put money in a black country or a black, uh, in, you know, any black uh, business or anything, make sure you're doing it intelligently. Do not leave it to other people to manage your money to that degree. You need to understand your own money. I, 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 would, I would suggest this. If you're a person, you've got millions of dollars or billions or whatever amount of money, and you need a financial person to take care of your money, then you've already got too much money. I would advise you keep it under your bed, dig a, dig a place in your garden if you've got enough, a big enough garden and put it and, and bury it in the old, the old type of chest that Long John Silver would do. You'll be better off that way. Yeah, there may be a chance somebody could come and get it, but you'll be better off that way. This way, if somebody comes and get it, you'll see a hole in, the, in your yard and you'll know your money's gone. The problem with these kind of investments, when you do it and you don't know, you don't understand money, you don't, your money can be going missing week, month, year after year, and it's year. By the time you find out, it's long gone. It's been, it's been, it's, and you haven't even got a clue that the money is gone. And I always say that if people can take that sort of money from you from right under your nose, and you don't know, when well, maybe you have got more money than sense. It's a sad thing to have to say to people because people don't want to hear things like that. I'm not, I'm not justifying the criminals, but I'm saying this is how I see money. Any amount of money I have, I have to be able to manage it and I have to be able to look and say, okay, this is what's happening to this money. It's in this securities companies, it's in this bank, it's in this place. I'm going to check on it. I'm going to check on it this week. I'm going to check on it next week. I'm going to check. If I can't, if I don't have the time to check on it, it's, it's in danger. It's in, it's in danger. And so I should leave it somewhere where I can always see it or can always check on it. That's the way I see money or any form of uh, wealth accumulation. So this is another sad case for for local investment especially there over there in Jamaica a very sad case in the Caribbean and these things will happen and it will happen and happen again they happen in, in every country not just here I mean they happen in Ghana in Nigeria it happens in England in America in Canada it happens all over the place but because it's happening to somebody who's really big like Usain Bolt it's getting some traction and people are very upset and the, and the, and the people in the Caribbean especially in Jamaica are really really angry that someone as, as, as powerful as Usain Bolt, someone who come from the, 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 you know, not the upper classes, but come from the regular people who's put his money back into the country, can, that can happen to him. They recognize what can, what's happening to them, but they're really upset that it's happening to him. So let's see where this ends. Let's see where, where, the, where the courts take it. Let's see if Usain Bolt, I think they'll find the, the 12 million US dollars and, and find it, uh, put it back into his account to keep him quiet, you know, sort of, the sort of hush money. I think the lawyers made that, given them a 10 days to find the money, and I think they probably will find the money somehow. These people, are, they, these people know how to shift money around on paper and put it all over the place. They'll probably do that to, to avoid the court case. And if they, haven't, if they can't find enough money to do that, then, um, then obviously there'll be a court case and then we'll hear more about it. And if that happens, I'll keep you in touch. Anyway, take care. Live for Love TV. This is Live for Love TV. Live for Love TV. Yes, I am. One step more. One step more. One step more. One step more. Until you reach your goals. One step more. Save them soul. One step more. One step more. How good it is to reach the chest. This is Live for Love TV.